Hello everyone, I am Jehovah. Welcome back to War of Rights. It's Saturday, and that means the UEC is having one of their events, and they've invited me to join along. So special thanks to everyone in the UEC for allowing me to once again do one of these spectacular battles. Uh, it's a tough time for me right now because I am relocating, getting a new job, and it's a crazy time in the life of Jehovah, but um, any opportunity I get to film these excellent battles, I'm going to do it. And uh, like I said, today was the day for that. So thank you, thank you, everyone. I do want to take this time to go ahead and change my sound settings. I apologize about this. I should have done this before the battle. But the voice was a little loud, a little louder than the host. I want to hear what the guys are saying, but I don't, I don't want to have to scream over them all the time. So we'll do it right there. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so this battlefield is the Piper Farm. Now, get back over here on the battlefield. There is your point of contention right here. You see your Confederate armies. We've got the 8th Alabama, Alabama German Legion, and the 14th Louisiana. Getting ready to go here. You also see the artillery. There's Sergeant Tim. Now, people were... Um, talking about the artillery being a little overpowered on this map and you know what that is historically accurate my friends because this is where the uh, the Confederates retreated to after the uh, orders that made them run away from the sunken lane I gotta get down here so I can actually see something I apologize <clears throat> this is where uh, about face. Jeez, I can't get anywhere up on this battlefield at all. All right, well, I apologize, but basically this is where uh, Longstreet held off the uh, Union assault after the failure at the sunken lane in the middle um, and basically held this, the Confederate center together throughout the battle there in the middle of the day. What people don't like to talk about is what actually happened, which uh, D.H. Hill continuously sent uh, suicide attacks back down toward the lane to uh, keep the Union occupied. But you can see this is the sunken lane right here. And the Confederates had uh, been, they, they did get their flank turned over on this side. And that's a real thing, that happened. And uh, it turned into the bloody lane from the sunken lane. Uh, but basically what ends up going down is as the Confederates retreat back into this area, um, the artillery is what holds the center together. And so these Union guys today, the 52nd and the 20th, they've got a tall order ahead of them. They're going to have to walk right into those Confederate guns. And I don't know where the Union guns are <clears throat> on this map. Oh, it looks like right over here. No, these are just Union guys. I don't see... So here's your sunken lane. I don't see... Are they way over here? What's going on here? Yeah, it's, it's they they it's must be. Oh my god, look at this, man. So the Union guns are all the way over here. Hmm. I mean, you can get a strafing fire on them for sure, but there's a lot of trees in the way. Yeah, any kind of frontal assault on that Confederate position is going to be real tough. So these Union guns are really far away. But you can see, here's the Piper Farm. And on a pub server, this used to be really boring. I bet it's fun now with these guns. I need to go watch a public server just to see how many people choose artillery, because I, I bet it's just an artillery bloodbath on a pub server right now. <clears throat> All right, so there's your Louisiana. There's your Alabama. Now, the Union typically will come down behind this wall and shoot up the hill. Uh, point of contention is in kind of a weird spot right here by this fence. It's not very defensible from the Confederate position, but with this artillery right in their face, they can really hurt any kind of Union advance up this hill. <clears throat> so we're, we're live now, 39 seconds, or 39 minutes. <laughs> Wait, I didn't like, sorry, Nut, I wasn't watching. I didn't want to subscribe to learn shit. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm kind of a moron, so you probably won't learn much. <laughs> All right, we see 
This is uh, your 14th Louisiana coming across this way. They're not going to be able to get very far, at least historically. This fence is about the edge of the battlefield. Or the fence. Have they changed the parameters? Left oh man, call. look, I can come way out here. Okay, Arch. it's still pretty tight, Arch. but you can get behind this fence. Come on. And yep, Alabama's over here by the farm, by the barn. See more okay. folks up there. <laughs> and where are the Union? Okay, you see them here. Starting to make their way in. All right, there's your 52nd. They got the blue flag. And there's your 20th. They've got the yellow flag. <clears throat> so they'll be at least easy to identify. Let's get some pictures of these boys. Oh my god, a fire already coming in from the 8th Alabama. <laughs> 20th New York carrying their own regimental flag. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing right there. You don't always get to do that, so that's very awesome. There's your 52nd. Do they have their own flag? 20th Main. <clears throat> that's weird because the 20th Main never actually got engaged at Antietam. They were held in reserve. But that is interesting. I think this said 20th Main, right? Serious, must name Yep. 20th Main. Prepare to hold. Prepare to hold. Uh, I believe the 8th Alabama gets their own flag too. This is, uh, yeah, that's the 8th Alabama holding their own flag as well. Look at that. Excellent. I believe the other regiments, the 8th Florida, they're playing on the other server today. Let's go take a look at that. I believe that's what it is. <clears throat> Union Canyons and pub matches never seem to accomplish anything. CSA Canyons face the left. Stonewall, it's devastating. Oh, yeah, I'll bet. So Nuts saying, telling me that the uh, Confederate guns hitting that stone wall are absolutely devastating. I, I totally believe that. Double move. All right, so Louisiana's moving out. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, mine almost did, too. Servers are having a hard time, but you know what? It's kind of worth it. This artillery is so freaking awesome. It's really worth it. Now... Looks like the 52nd has decided to be the guinea pig here. And they're going to get the brunt of the Confederate artillery aimed down at this wall. <clears throat> but I don't see any Confederate gunners. So that's interesting. So 20th New York. Okay, 8th Alabama's come all the way into the field. Okay, they've got guns well forward. Look at this. Holy crap. No wonder they're so devastating. You can just literally point that gun down on that fence. Oh, rest in peace, 52nd. Nope, they've turned around. The 20th has got their attention. You see the 20th along the fence there? Moving to the Confederate left. These guns are fairly exposed here. Let's see if they can get any action on the 20th. I didn't know the 20th could come this far over. That's interesting. Most of the battle always takes place. All right, this is the edge. <clears throat> they were looking for it. They found it. Yeah, that's smart. This is very interesting. I like this. I like this move. I haven't seen this before, but I haven't been playing on a lot of pub servers. <clears throat> And I've never been on this map with artillery. Oh, look at that cannonball. You see it coming in. Taking some of the men out in the back. But most of the 20th survived. Oh, my God, but they didn't survive a lot of that. 8th Alabama pouring in a deadly fire. But the guns are exposed. And you see artillerists going down. <laughs> it's just a matter of time, and Weber knows it until that next artillery blast comes in. Let's see if we can get a low shot of this. Oh my god, there it is! 
That artillery just <laughs> throwing men down. Jesus. Jesus is right, nut. <laughs> And these guys know it, they're laughing about it. They know they've been targeted. They're trying to clear out that artillery. Oh yeah, they're ducking down. Another one's coming in. They all ducked out of the way. Oh, another heavy blast! The 20th just taking it to the face. These guys don't give a shit. Look at them. They're just standing there taking it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, they are crouching, but that's a little knee wall. There's not a whole lot there. <laughs> Another volley from the 8th Alabama. Take aim, artillery. Take aim. Weber doing everything he can to kill those artillerymen. Another blast coming in. I am enthralled with this. I can't even find out what's going on with the 52nd over here. All right, 52nd on the fence. They're still there. Doing what they can. But those Confederate guns, they're just so hard to not watch. You see the flag moving. 20th is moving over, forcing those guns to spin. Yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah, Nut's telling me that it didn't look like any of them died once they crouched behind that wall. Um, Looks like the guns are still faced that way. Okay, this gun is moving over. Now, if it were me, and it's not, these guys are way better than I am, I would almost send that flag on a suicide mission to make the enemy think I was in a different spot. But that's going to go away once you start firing your guns. Twentieth sending in a volley. They need to kneel. Man, this is incredible. Artillery still hasn't fired yet. Okay, they got one gun facing the fifty-second, one gun facing over here. That artillery shell is about to come in at any minute. Are right, you telling them to kneel? Shot going over their head. They couldn't get it down in time. You see Weber calling his boys to kneel just in time. Now they've got their sights set on these Confederate gunners. You see them going down. The 20th doing a hell of a job here against these Confederate guns. But not getting away unscathed. And the 52nd still holding their position. 14th Louisiana off on the corner, guarding that flank. I'm surprised none of these guns are in action, but maybe, maybe you just can't get them aimed down that hill far enough. Yeah, 14th Louisiana still up here. All right, looks like Scorpio's trying to get them to a position where they can do some damage. Take aim. Firing at the 52nd. I don't think the 52nd knows where they are through all the smoke and up the hill. They're shooting up the hill, but there are no Confederates there. Alabama up now. Getting in a position to defend the guns. Putting more heat on the 20th. You can see in the distance, look at Weber just standing there like a man. Yeah, they have rules that they're only using two guns uh, for the events. They don't want to get it overloaded, so that's why you only got two cannons. They're standing up. A heavy fire coming in from the 20th. 8th Alabama giving it back. So as soon as they stand up, 8th Alabama is taking that opportunity to shoot into the 20th. Tim and his boys just standing here like men. They're not giving it up. <laughs> Once again, 20th New York. Speaking of tickets, both are battle ready. Alright, you see him rising up. See how the artillery fares. Lots of lead coming in, no hits that time. 
Jungs, geht nicht direkt But you see the 8th Alabama in the distance moving off. Does that mean the 52nd is also moving? No, 52nd still holding the center. Waiting to charge that point of contention when they get the opportunity. I just don't know. They don't know that it's the 14th Louisiana out here. They Now they see the smoke at least. Und bitte hier einen Rear Rank wieder herstellen. Hier ist eine riesige Sendung. Taking the opportunity to do some formation shooting. I like it. Blind stäuben. Watch, ihr müsst hier einen Rear Rank wieder herstellen. Ich habe hier eine riesen Lücke. Ihr müsst mal weiter nach links kommen. Die Köpfe sind draußen. Nippa, der zielt mich hier. Olli, geh mal ein bisschen nach links. Dress, nach links. Left dress, left dress. Okay. Ja, passt. See the men trying to get in formation there. <clears throat> Alright, so 8th Alabama back into the uh, barnyard here. Alright, see Greenberg there. Taking a look at the battlefield. Tim and his boys trying to survive the brutal fire of the 20th New York over here. Ich hab's noch keinen Ahnung, wo die andere Art ist, aber ja. Die Geschützmannschaften sind gerade gedisabled. Da stand gerade jeweils noch ein Mann. Muha. Ja. Das ist immer noch gut. Das ist immer noch gut. Oh, da. Surfer rücken auf die Kanonen. So, Geschütze sind gerade leer. See the boys. Feindlinie hinter den Heuballen. Reload those rifles as quickly as they can. Takes a little longer on your knee, but worth it. Oh, shit. <coughs> They're fixing bayonets. That can only mean one thing. They're going after the guns. Will the Alabama be... What guns? They've abandoned those guns. Look at that. Tim and his boys have moved off up the hill. Genius. I love it. Right at about the time Weber's about to move on those guns, they abandon them. Uh, yeah, probier mal. And now they're realizing it. <clears throat> they realize that the guns are no longer there. Beautiful move, but here comes the 8th Alabama. Prepare for hold. They may have lured them into a trap here. Weber's committed now. He sees the 8th Alabama into his front, getting to the rocks. But they've got bayonets on, and these 20th boys know how to use them. Here they come. 8th Alabama behind the caissons, 20th doing the same, close up fighting. People dropping on both sides. Who will charge first? Oh look, he's leapfrogging, he's moving guys up on the caissons. Beautiful move by Greenberg here, getting up and uh, up close and personal. 20th knows it. They're under a lot of pressure here. Weber and Toby, Toby getting away from the action. Probably gonna talk it out here. Well, I thought that was. I hear Weber's voice. No, Weber's still here. Up close and personal, many units do not get this close to the 8th Alabama and survive. But the 20th New York, the anchor of the Union, they've been here before. And the 52nd, I still don't see him. Still down behind that wall. But it looks like they might be moving. Oh yeah, they are. Here they come. 52nd New York. Moving down the fence line in support of the 20th. Look at this. They've got a good, strong flank against those Alabamians. But they can't see them in the smoke. There's a lot of smoke there. Oh, Alabama's on the move. Here they come. Flank me? I don't think so. Charge. And 8th Alabama running into the teeth of the anchor of the... Oh, my God. You don't just run into the 20th New York. 20th, holding them off, and you hear the huzzah. 
the Confederates are now engaged. There's still a couple Al Alabama guys here, but there aren't many. Private Rommel hiding in the caisson there, hoping he's not seen by the 20th. A brilliant stand by the 20th New York there. Oh, the 52nd is charging up the hill. Here's a 52nd. They're coming after what's left of the 8th Alabama. It's a flag and two privates. Holy crap, the Union has engulfed the Confederate position. Where is Louisiana? The Confederate guns now once again in extreme peril. The Union is here. Taking the point of contention? No, I don't see it moving that way. Oh, they, oh, Tim, of course, he's moved his guns in position. Gonna be raking these Union guys up close and personal with the guns. And here come the 20th as well. Oh, the artillery coming straight through the fence. But they're still not on the point of contention. Look at it, it's not moving blue. They've got to be further to the left. Oh, another brutal fire coming in. You can see the Confederate guns right in their face. And here's the 8th Alabama coming in from spawn, charging directly into the Union Army. But too few, the whole damn Union Army's here. They're gonna have to come with a stronger force than that. Oh, the gun coming straight through the fence. Oh, all right, they've had enough of that shit. They're over the fence. No, they're pulling back again and paying for it with their lives. You see, the 20th has turned to give respect to the 8th Alabama coming from spawn. They know there are gonna be a lot of them here very, very quickly. All right, 52nd pulling back to the hay bales. Still getting artillery poured into them. It's a tough position for the Union to hold, but it's not the point of contention. Look at that red line. It is still red. Although I'm sure they're not focused on that right now. They just want to kill Confederates. Speaking of, got a lot of them at spawn over here. Let's see what they do. Greenberg taking a look. You trying to see the strength? All right, Louisiana poured into them, and the Alabama's coming with them. There's not a whole lot of Louisiana here. But damn it, they're going to do what they can. Flag is down. But the Alabama is on the way. 20th and 52nd to the wall to defend. And here come Alabama. Coming around the corner. A hail of gunfire. Smoke everywhere. Both units are now engaged, and the Confederates are now taking losses. You see Greenberg emptying the pistol, taking a butt to the face, being defended. And the Confederates have done it. They're pushing them off. 20th New York running with the flag. Sergeant James trying to defend the colors, and he's done it. He, you're the last man alive. <laughs> oh shit, did I just hear that? <laughs> Shot down. Shouldn't have slowed down, James. I don't see the flag though. Maybe he got out of here. And, oh no, there it is. Yeah, he did his best. It's tough when you got a whole state shooting at you. Uh, speaking of flags on the ground, there's the Louisiana flag. They were the first ones on the scene. There's more folks grabbing it up. Yeah. Oh, and he's going to take it back to the Louisiana boys. Look at him. What a gentleman. He's like, uh, hey, I think you lost something. Oh, here's the uh, rest of the uh, German Legion coming in. He probably thought that was Louisiana. Oh, here you go. Good job, bro. I got I got a, I got yeah, Great job. Thank you very much. Great job. And Morpho's going to fall in with the... Uh, now kill him, so we can have more fly. Now kill him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't murder him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a great yeah. group. That's a bit too weird. So the Confederates still on the guns there. And yeah, they... 
52nd. Lost their flag, 8th Alabama, taken back, the point of contention. They're down on taking losses, uh, but they want to have that point of contention filled before they move out. I don't blame them. It's a great plan. See, they're sending down a runner to see exactly where the Union's coming from. We can see it, they can't. Oh, man, see, people always say that shit. I'm not jinxing a flag bearer. <laughs> Uh, I just think it's funny to watch him. No, he stopped, man. That was the problem. If he'd have kept running, he'd have been alive. But it is funny to watch flag bears get shot down. <laughs> yeah, I've been accused of doing that before. I apologize if that's the case. But it is funny. Uh, sure, go right ahead. I can do I just remember, you can't shoot if you're scouting, but... All right, so they are uh, <coughs> looking for the Union. <laughs> yeah, that last battle was the funniest with O'Keefe running right up to the line into the smoke, thinking there's a whole line of Union there, and all he sees are muskets pointed at him. <laughs> uh, he tried to get out of there. All right, so what's going on with this Union army here? They're getting... Uh, Pulled back together. They made a hell of a push up there. All right, see the 20th going back that way. See the uh, 52nd flagless. Both of these units are flagless. And that's going to be a problem because those flags are mobile spawn points. So you want to keep them with your unit if you can. So 52nd going back to their original position behind the stone wall. And 20th New York going back to the right. Alabama's going over there to meet them. These men just turn their back on the Union. They don't give a damn. Oh, they're coming for the flag. Nope, these are Confederate spotters. I thought they were coming back for their flag. You see it laying here. They see it too. See 52nd guys up there. See the 20th moving that way to my left here. They want that flag back. You can guarantee it. I don't even know where the 50 seconds flag is. I don't know that they know either. It's got to be up here. Oh, it is. Look at it. It's laying way up here with the Alabama. That's That one's going to be hard to get back. Yeah. That's kind of the Alabama surprise right there. <laughs> So we'll see. Surprise the 20th out and send anybody up there to get it. Maybe they don't know where it is. That is possible. It's a lot of grass. Right, Toby and Weber. You see Toby taking a look. <clears throat> Maybe he's trying to look where the fl Oh! They got a runner! Look at this! Oh shit, I went too fast. <laughs> I totally missed that. I was like, I'm just here for the flag. Leave me alone. So, the flag, I guess the flag despawns after a while. Because I don't see it here anymore. But, uh, 20th has got their flag. You see it there. So they were able to pick it up and get it back in. Good job. Good job, Private. Oh, he's a 52nd. So you see these teams uh, helping each other out. So the 52nd is down the hill by the uh, stone fence here. This is the Union's historical position as far as playing on pub servers, is where they always seem to be. Oh, artillery rounds coming in. I'd say you're going to have to push that gun down the hill to get an angle on those boys, but... I do not know that. Tim would know better than me. I promise you that. Oh, you see the gun? They are pushing it down slightly. Oh, they can get an angle on that. Oh, yeah, that wall. 52nd knows it. Look, the other shot coming in over their heads, though. <laughs> Somebody found something funny. <laughs> All right, so 52nd moving to the extreme left, the right side of the uh, Confederate line, and the 14th is waiting for him up there. 14th pouring fire in. 
So they're out of bounds, so they're trying to pull back just to the edge. Hold. Make ready, gentlemen. Linie 12 Uhr, direkt voraus, im Süden. Aim. Hold, aim. Da seht ihr die schöne Fahne. Hold weg. Fire! Alright, they're knocking them down. They knocked a few of them down. I thought I saw the flag go down. Was that Morphos dead or did he survive that one? Yeah, he's still alive. He's hard to kill. 14th Louisiana. Not a huge regiment here today. But they've done a damn fine job. Flag new down. Those Yankees got a lot of cover down there by that fence. Check. Recover. Recover the line. Oh, another right, horrible right. volley by the 52nd. Oh, Morphos wow. living no once again. Look at him taking a knee. All right. All right. Guns a blazing. Where's the 20th? Good. Yeah. 20th back down on the corner by those rocks here. Moving to the extreme Confederate left. They're back in the field. Here they come again. Weber and the boys straight out into the field. Nine. Going to put some pressure on the Alabama. You see their runners out there. And does the Alabama see him coming? That's going to be the question. Greenberg and the boys watching the point of contention. Alright, look at that. 20th is coming back toward the caissons where they were before. Sollte das second Brick über die Steinmauer oder? Ja, das ist richtig. Okay. I can see the flag. You see him getting into an L shape. Oh, here they come. Look at him just filing in. Da kommen sie. Ja, die kommen über links. Ja, macht euch bereit. Geh mal bitte Fahne da weg. Charge Der second Rank macht sich bereit für den Charge. Charge, ja, Charge Bayonets. That's the order. Here comes the volley from the 20th. Fire coming in. Looks like an independent variety. Alabama ducking down behind the wall. Now these 20th guys will wait for them to stand up if they're volleying. 50 second coming up the hill. 50 second up the hill. They've got men on the gun. Well, they had a man on the gun. There they are. They've pushed off the Louisiana. And they're getting out of there. Oh, that's good. Didn't get to see who that was. So Frank has taken the uh, the artillery from the Confederates. Do they have Union artillerists here? I don't see any. They could move those boys up and take these guns and turn them against the Confederates here. And we got one private left against the whole regiment. Uh, he might be stuck there. He's looking around like, what the hell? Why can't I move? <laughs> All right, 52nd moving across the field, coming toward the Alabama. Alabama's got their hands full now. They've got 52nd on one side. They're going to have 20th on the other. Find. There's your 20th New York. Firing into one flank of the Alabama. You can see on the corner. 52nd coming the other way. Straight at the point of contention. Look at him. That red line is shrinking now. 10 minutes, 39 seconds. And Frank has his boys directly on the point of contention. Just looking straight into the eyeballs of the Alabama. <laughs> Alabama surrounded at this point. And the blue line is moving. What is Alabama going to do about this? Probably waiting for 14th Louisiana to get back. They're all ducked behind the wall. <laughs> Seems like their numbers have dwindled. I'm not sure where they are. Well, that's a lot of Yankees up there, and that blue line is moving. <clears throat> but they're just taking cover. They're not trying to get too many of their men killed. The patience of these units is always blown me away. You know, you don't see a lot of erratic behavior here. They're just volleying up. Oh, it looks like Louisiana's over this way. Yeah, Louisiana's back up here. Oh, and we've got the counterattack. Six minutes, 55 seconds. The Union has done it. And here come the Alabama. Going straight into the 52nd, and it looks like Louisiana is joining them. Louisiana on the charge. 
hitting the side of the 52nd New York in the smoke. They didn't see him coming. And here comes the whole damn Confederate Army. Is the 20th going to respond? The flag is running back to the safety of the 20th New York. And there's still a bunch of stabbing going on here at the point. But they've done it. The 8th Alabama and 14th Louisiana have secured the point of contention. Getting a volley from the 20th. I don't know that the 20th even saw all that going on through the smoke. You see, with the sun going down the way it is, it's hard to see through all of this smoke. Confederates exposed to the gunfire of the 20th New York. All right, you heard the order. And the Confederates sitting here, they want to get that counter charge off. They want to get that counter attack off. They can't see anything. They can't even see the 20th. But here they come, 20th New York on the charge, out of the sunlight. The Alabama are wavering. The Louisiana falling back slowly. Both of these groups fighting for their lives. Phantoms out of the sun. The Union Army coming in with the bayonet. Get him. The Confederates are now breaking. This is an extremely dangerous position if the Union takes this point of contention. But they haven't been able to do it yet. Alabama and Louisiana, stubborn defense of the point of contention. And both flags from the Union running for it. You see it now. The Confederates have done it. Even though they're breaking, they have pushed off the Union Army one more time. They want to break this counterattack. That'll bring them back to taking losses. The Union will have to get in very, very quickly if they're going to stop what the Confederates are doing here. So once again, <coughs> brilliant defense. Is there any 14th here or is this all other yeah, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> flag bearer for the 14th. Okay. Morpos is still carrying that flag. He's still alive. All right, there you see it. The counterattack is null and void. Both units taking losses. Nine minutes, 26 seconds to go. And it's anybody's game. Man, I missed this. I'm going to miss it next weekend, too, guys. I'm not going to be able to record next weekend. I apologize. Like I said, we're going to get this move out of the way, and then we'll be able to do get back to every Saturday in the future. You can see these Union guys licking their wounds a little bit. They don't want to get in too quick. But they know they've got to get back in there and stop them. Oh, well, I, I say that, but uh, clearly, excuse me, the 52nd wants to get back in there quick. They're already here. So 52nd taking up the position that previously was held by the 20th. And we've still got people at the point of contention there. And the 20th is still back there getting ready. Frank in the 52nd. Volleying into the Confederates. Oh, a simultaneous volley. Men dropping on both sides. That is your 14th Louisiana. So where did yeah. the Alabama go? Right, okay, company. so the Alabama's back in their corner here. Yep. 50 seconds in a little bit of a spot here. They've got two different companies bearing down on them. Mm -hmm. But the Alabama can't really see him from this position yet. Louisiana leaving this this spot's pretty smart. Uh, they've already taken the point of contention. No reason to just get slaughtered there. 20th is uh, 20th and 52nd are really good with the the uh, musket from long range. All of these companies are. They're absolute killers. This is a great idea too because they've got the sun to their backs. This is definitely a great position. You can see the uh, artillery of the Confederacy here pointing the other direction. Might have one gun pointed this way. But you see the marching of the uh, 52nd? Oh, and we've got Union artillery up here. This is how you do it right here now. Union artillery. They're after the Confederate guns. They're going to do it. This is going to be close and personal. 
Are the Alabama going to let them do it? Alabama coming out. 52nd has walked into their line of fire and they're paying for it. The Alabama hiding in the hay bales, waiting for the 52nd to come up the hill. But they've got big trouble here because Richter has got a gun facing right up. Oh my god. Do they see it? We're going to find out together. Alabama taking heavy losses here. Greenberg doing his best. Mensch, heute habt ihr es echt nicht. But you see. The order to fall back. Just in time. Because that gun has got to be close to being loaded. So the Union has accomplished what they were after here. The gun's loaded, they don't really have a target. Oh! Canister fire coming in! And you see a large number of men dying. Oh, there's not a lot of 50 seconds left, man. Being raked by artillery fire. And you see Richter. Oh, the 20th has come up. They're back at the point of contention. Here you go. 20th New York back on the point of contention. 8th Alabama in a really tough spot once again. They were able to do it last time. Can they pull it off now? Five minutes to go. And that red line is going to be, be bleeding blue real quick. 8th Alabama moving over. Getting back into position to attack the 20th. Oh, artillery coming in. Lots of blood off the 20th there. But I didn't see a lot of men fall. I'm seeing it now. 8th Alabama pouring in a terrible volley. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh my god, there it is. Canister fire raking into the side of the 20th, and they are getting the hell out of here. 8th Alabama on the charge. There's not a lot left to kill, boys. 20th New York running for it. They're taking them all the way to the fence. All right, they finally backed off. There's not a lot of 50 seconds left, but here they come. Actually, they've got a lot of guys left. Look at this. They've all come back, and they're pouring into the side of the 8th Alabama. Who's running for it? That blue line is ticking this way. Four minutes to go, and the 52nd is now in charge of the point of contention. Are they going to go straight for the guns? Tim's got the pistol out. You can see the 50 seconds streaming into the guns. Here they come. They've got to get rid of these guns and they've got a chance. And that's what they're doing. And the Alabama's coming back in to defend these guns. Fifth Alabama defending the guns. But the 52nd is in command of the point of contention with three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. The 20th flag is here too, that means they're here also. Charge by not. This is chaos, here comes the 14th Louisiana. Going straight for the line, but the counterattack is in. Six minutes, 52 seconds. And all sides taking losses. Louisiana doing a damn good job here. Charge. Oh man, artillery shells pouring in. You've got the 8th Alabama securing the guns, coming back for the point of contention. And they've done it again. You hear the huzzah, they are breaking. If the Union could push this position now, they'd have a chance. But there's just not a whole lot of them left. Although they're, I don't know, that's quite a few. But they're mostly cannons. Oh my god. They are going to, they want to completely destroy these uh, Confederates here and they're going to have a damn good opportunity to do it because the Confederates have to hold this position for 5 minutes and 56 seconds with the artillery facing them. Oh no, they're not holding shit. Here they come. They know there's a cannon right in their face. Here they come. The Confederates coming after the guns captured by the Union. And they're going to push them off. Here they are. 
right in the face of the artillerists of the, the okay. Union here. Confederates have done it. Both sides are now breaking. And the red line is coming up Confederate. But we've got a whole lot of Union here. It's getting to the sweet spot of the battle. They're, they know they have to make a move. Confederates in control of the point of contention. And at this five minutes uh, clock stops ticking, they might go back to taking losses. Obviously, we're having some friendly fire problems here. You hear the guys telling them to press T. <clears throat> Four minutes to go. Here comes that red line. Wow, the Confederates have done it twice. There they go, but they did not get the taking losses back. It's only back to breaking. So that means the Union does have a chance here. If they can get in and push this spot and get it back all the way blue, they'll win automatically. But I got a feeling the Alabama and the Louisiana boys are not going to make that easy for them. Three minutes to go. Three minutes. And here they are. Alabama moving to the left. I don't see the Union Army. Oh, they're coming straight up the gut here. Louisiana looks like is going to hold this position. Looks like the whole Union Army coming this way. And they're not stopping. Here they come. You hear Weber's voice. That means this is the 20th. Oh, Weber's shot dead. 20th New York coming in. Looking into the smoke, you can't see anything, but they're not stopping. Bayonets are out. Here come the 52nd. And they're doing it. They're pushing everybody off this line. 20th came up, 52nd came around, but here come the Alabama back in action. I'm Alabama pushing straight into the 20th. What's left of the 52nd? And here we go again. It's a club fest. Fritz taking one to the face. He's still alive. Oh, Rommel doing him in. And the German Legion, they've done it. They've pushed off the Union probably for the last time. One minute, 30-something seconds left to go. What a brilliant push. Morph is still carrying that flag. <laughs> you can't kill that man. Oh, man, what a good defensive push here in the Alabamas. They got a lot of guys left. In the 14th, back on the point of contention. They're playing guinea pig here, and they've done a great job holding off the 20th, but the 52nd came in and just gave him a left hook. But then the Alabama was there to finish him off. See 50 seconds here, what's left of them. They know they got one minute left. They're not likely to get back up to that point of contention and win it in time. But they've tried. You've got to give them that. They have done their very best. So 42 seconds left. Are they going to even make a final push at it? <clears throat> Thirty seconds left to go. The Union know that they've lost this one, unfortunately. Incredible stand by the Confederate Army here. Maybe they're trying to get them on tickets here. Oh, here they come. One last time. 52nd, up the hill, but it's going to be too little too late. Greenberg calling the charge, and here they come, 20th and 52nd. But that's it. The Confederacy is victorious. Another great battle. Uh, thanks again to everybody in the UEC, man. I missed this for two weeks, and I'm loving today. And I'm going to miss next week, but I'm going to be back after that. So, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Show me that you're watching them. Let me know that you're loving what we're doing here. And again, special thanks to everybody. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're on Twitch, uh, give me a sub, throw me some coin. If you do, I'm going to put all that money back into the channel. Uh, we're going to try to make this thing bigger and better than ever. So until next time, my name's Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye.